So to start, we're just going to bring our feet flat on the floor. So really ground your feet down, then lengthen up through your spine. And I want you to imagine that there's a string going up through the center of the body, up the top of the head, taking it all the way up to the ceiling. So you're really lengthening yourself upwards. You're then going to just drop any tension from your shoulders. So really just relax them down and probably slightly back as well. And then I want you to place a hand onto your abdomen and a hand onto your chest and just close your eyes for a moment. And you're just going to focus on your breathing and particularly focus on that hand on the abdomen. So as you breathe in, just allow your abdomen to rise. And as you breathe out, allow your abdomen to lower. So the hand on the chest wants to stay fairly still. It's that hand on the abdomen that's just rising and falling with the breath. So ideally breathing in through the nose and out through the nose and trying to make your exhalation a little bit longer than your inhalation. So this is gonna allow you to feel really grounded, really calm throughout the session We'll do little check-ins of our breath as we go through our face yoga. And before you open your eyes, I just want you to check in with how your face is feeling in this moment. So just do a little mental scan of your face. Just notice if there's any tightness or tension anywhere in your face. If you feel like you can release that stress now, do so. If not, we can focus on that throughout. Notice any areas of your face which do feel relaxed. Also just notice any areas which may not really feel like much at all. So you can't really put a particular feeling on it or there's not really a necessary a strong energy either way there. Just make a mental note, no need to judge it or even change it to the moment, just simply notice. Just take another long deep breath in, abdomen rises and out, abdomen lowers. Okay, so open your eyes up when you're ready and we're just going to start up warming up our face a little bit. So we're going to take all of our fingers now and just bring them onto our neck and we're going to do some light, quick taps. So nice and gently tapping all the way over your neck area, just warming up the skin a little bit, releasing any tension or stress we may be holding in our face. You're just going to work up and down the jaw if there's any tension there starting to soften it. All the way over the cheeks and around your mouth area. Really boosting the blood circulation here. And tapping gently under your eyes, just starting to wake up that area a little bit, always a little bit lighter under the eye area. And just coming up onto your temples and all the way over your forehead, softening any tension in the forehead, waking up the skin, just getting your skin used to having your hands touching, massaging. And let your breath become a little bit deeper as you do this. And then just bring your hands into little fists and then bring the knuckles of the fingers, so here and here, onto your forehead. And then you're going to move the hands away. So really working with those knuckles to soften any tension in your forehead area. So one of the big reasons we get those horizontal lines in our forehead is we tend to overexpress with our eyebrows and hold a lot of stress and tension there. And as we age, we get a natural decline in the collagen and the last in production in our skin. So those expression lines tend to etch into our skin a little bit deeper than perhaps they did when we were in our sort of teens, late teens. So as we go into our 20s, 30s, or like me into your 40s, we really just want to naturally reduce those lines with this sort of gentle massage. And this also as you probably will feel, starts to bring a lovely warmth to the skin. So that's a great indication. You're boosting that blood flow. You're nourishing the top of the skin with new nutrients, oxygen, blood. And then bring your arms down for a moment. It's fine to give your arms a little shake in between. Just let go of any tension. 
and we're going to use a finger knuckle again but this time making a little hook and you're going to use this part here and just come between your eyebrows and you're just going to move upwards just in a nice line from top of the nose all the way to the top of your forehead so what we're doing here is relaxing tension in a muscle called the procerus muscle and again it's a muscle which really needs to be relaxed some muscles in the face need to really be relaxed and used less others need to be lifted and strengthened woken up and used more but this is one of the ones that we really tend to again hold tension in we tend to pull this area in particularly when we're concentrating on screens or when we're stressed and again we can find that those lines particularly what we call those number 11 lines or glabula lines as they're officially called tend to etch into the skin also stimulating a lovely acupressure point here in traditional chinese medicine this is called the ying tang point and as we stimulate this point, we're helping to reduce stress as well. So we're getting those really nice holistic benefits. And you can just slightly go out to a diagonal if there's any areas of tension there or any particular lines you want to work on just softening and you can go in the other way, just in a little direction. Now you may see a little bit of redness or feel a little bit of warmth. There's probably a little bit of redness there on my skin. That's not a bad thing at all, as long as it doesn't feel painful boosting the blood flow like that is great okay bring your arm down and we're going to release some tension across the eyebrow area now you can take two fingers and thumb and just gently pinch I'll show you one side first so you can just see pinch and then move all the way across your eyebrow area nice and gently and taking that again so gently pinching moving across and lifting off and this does naturally lift the muscle here but also reduces a lot of that stress we can hold in the eyebrow area wonderful and then just take two fingers just come to your temples and just massage your temple area so as a rule most of the techniques I'm going to be teaching you here you want to do for about one minute so if you're going to do any of these at home and i definitely recommend at least taking a couple of these with you so you can do them at home in the morning or the evening and you want to really just think about doing each one for about one minute that's general sort of rule of thumb so you're going the other direction here if you're not already and quite intuitively we go to this point when we are stressed but actually it has so many benefits it's a very renowned acupressure point releases a lot of tightness and tension in the surrounding muscles. So just go back to your breath for a moment, just check your breathing deeply in for about a count of four, out for about a count of six. Wonderful. Okay, so let's move on to our eye area now. So we're going to do a little bit of lymphatic drainage. So this is going to help to reduce puffiness, dark circles underneath the eyes and just clear that lymph. So really just help to remove any toxins that we don't want around that area. I really recommend using your ring finger. It's a bit of a lighter touch so you don't drag the skin, but if that's tricky, use your index finger. You're going to come underneath your eyebrows. So you're going to slowly come around and then underneath your eyes and back to that starting position and keep that going now really just feel into how you're doing this you don't want to be dragging the skin at all it's really tempting to go almost deeper with these techniques thinking they're going to have more benefits but lots of the time with face yoga gentler is better particularly this area around the eyes which is about 10 times thinner and the skin in the rest of the face so for lymphatic drainage in particular around here because we're not looking at muscle lifting on this one we're looking at clearing any fluid underneath the eyes you want to go with that really gentle touch it just feels like you're brushing the top of the skin really really gently and this one's really good if you do wake up with puffiness or dark circles just do a few of these you can use an eye cream or an eye gel or because you're going so gently and just brushing the top of the skin it's fine to do this one with dry skin as long as you're not dragging the skin at all and then you're going to take it's probably best to swap to your index finger the little acupressure point which is just in the inner corner of your eye so you're feeling that short indentation at the top of your nose there 
and you can close your eyes here and just focus on your breath again. Now breathe here and this is a really lovely point for helping reduce eye strain. So very good if you've been looking at a screen for a long period of time, you've got very tired eyes. It's very good just to help reduce stress, reduce headaches, migraines. It's even a good one if you struggle to get to sleep at night. Pressing this point and then doing a little massage. So we're going to massage gently in one direction. Just a nice circular action there. And then massaging gently in the other direction. Great, okay, so let's go on to our cheek area. So let's do a little bit of facial exercise. So we're really going to work with lifting and toning and strengthening the muscles under the skin. So it's going to help to lift and sculpt the cheek area. So what I want you to do is puff both cheeks full of air like this. Don't worry if you laugh with any of these techniques. And then use your other finger just to smooth any lines which might be created around the mouth area. So we go, Really important you breathe in and out through your nose. So just keep this going as I'm explaining. You're gonna use your other hand and you're going to lightly do a tapping massage just over one cheek and I'll let you know when to swap to the other side. So. So. the swap side. Tapping all the way over, particularly if you've got any lines between the nose and the mouth, you can do a bit of extra tapping there. Light touch here, it doesn't need to be too hard. Let's do about 10 seconds more. Wonderful, and releasing gently. Okay, so you probably already feel like the muscles have had a good workout in that area. We're just gonna do that a little bit further. Work with lifting the mouth corners and getting a little bit deeper into lifting the cheeks. So I just want you to bring your lips in like this, but still lift your lip corners up. So you're going, then use your fingers to smooth any lines which may be created here. And we're simply gonna hold for a count of 10, release, and then take it again. Release, take it out again, tuck lips in, lip corners come up into this position, holding using your fingers just to smooth the skin so you're not creating any lines and we'll hold for a count of 10 again. and just gently releasing down, wonderful. Okay, so next we're gonna release some tension around the jaw area. So really good if this is the place that you hold a lot of your stress. Okay, so we're just going to use two fingers and we're going to smooth upwards. So working all the way up, nice and gently. And this is really nice just for helping to sculpt this area a little bit as well. But our main benefit here is really working, we're releasing tension, but also boosting that blood circulation. So really just helping to brighten the skin. And with these techniques, if you can do a full session, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or 30 minutes at home, then that's wonderful. And you're gonna see results really quickly in your skin. But even if you pick just one, or two today that really resonate with you, which you really think, oh, these are good for me and this is what I want to do. Do that, that's absolutely fine. And remember whilst you do it, doing that deep breathing. Deep breathing has had hundreds and hundreds of studies in terms of how beneficial it can be for our wellness and for our health. One of the best ways to bring us instantly from that fight or flight response into that rest or digest and rest and digest response is just doing that lovely deep breathing 
Okay, so bring your hands down. Let's work with a little bit of neck lifting now. So just release your shoulders. Just check there's no tension there before we get going into some neck lifting because often we can hold a lot of stress in the shoulders, but these simple shoulder rolls, just release that right away. So softening down now. Then you're going to tilt your head back. You're going to bring your lips together, bring the tip of the tongue up and down towards the roof of the mouth about a rate of one per second. And what that's going to do is going to help to tone the area under the chin. So if you ever want to just place your hand under the chin whilst you're doing it to feel it working, you can. So I'm going to show you here. It's quite tricky to see on camera, but hopefully you'll see roughly what to do. So lips are together, breathing in and out through the nose, neck tilted back. Do take care if you've got any neck issues. Don't overextend if you've had any neck injuries or whiplash or anything like that. But if your neck feels okay to do so, you can bring it back as far as it's comfortable. Keep it going up and down towards the roof of the mouth. You're really working with lifting and toning this muscle. Okay, let's do 10 more of those. Lovely, and come gently back down. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna bring your arms behind your back and you want to link your fingers together in this position behind your back. So you really sort of push your chest out and your arms are behind you. And this is just going to open the chest. It's just going to help to correct that forward position that we tend to have, particularly when we're sat at a desk and a bad posture can affect so many things, mentally, physically, can affect our face aesthetically as well. So working with our posture is really important. So just doing that gentle stretch and then just move your head very gently, just a small movement from side to side. So releasing any tightness at the side and the back of the neck, as well as through the upper back and shoulders here. All of this is gonna have such good benefits for your face, for your well-being as well. So just do two more each side, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. And then come back to center, just bring your hands up just behind your ears and with very light feather touch, come down to your collarbone and just do a few of those. So generally with face yoga, we work upwards and outwards. The only exception is when we do this very gentle lymphatic drainage. So this is just gonna drain any toxins, any sort of rubbish, garbage that's in the face that we don't want down to the lymph nodes and we can just pulse a little bit on the lymph nodes there just help that clearing it's a really nice thing to do you can do it beginning of face yoga end of face yoga it's not essential but it's quite a nice thing to do and then once again you're just going to tap over the face like we did at the beginning all the way up and down the jawline all the way over your cheeks and around your mouth lightly underneath your eyes up to your temples, all the way over your forehead. And then just bring your hands into your lap and close your eyes. And just focus back on your breath again. So inhale through the nose, abdomen rises. Exhaling through the nose, abdomen lowers. And as you breathe, just focus on relaxing any remaining tension in your forehead, around your eyes, relax tension in your cheeks. You may be aware they've had a bit of a workout in that area, but soften any stress or tension. Relaxing into your jaw, all the way down your neck, front, back, sides of the neck and into the shoulders. Notice how your face is feeling. And then I want you to repeat to yourself, just in your mind, three times the affirmation, I am calm and relaxed. Wonderful. 
mindful. Take another breath in. Biggest exhalation you've done all day out. Just wiggle your fingers and toes a little bit. Maybe just move your head from side to side a bit. Just allowing your body to wake up slightly. And then when you're ready, open up your eyes gently. And then you're going to bring your arms round in a big circle up into the air as you inhale. As you exhale, pull all that lovely, relaxing, positive energy down through all your centers, through all your energy centers, through the chakras. And then up again, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, allow yourself to feel calm and centered. As you come down, let's do one more time. Inhale, pull all that positive energy down through your energetic body and your physical body. And you are all done. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a lovely day. Yeah.